Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Monday, uh, October 14th, 2019. Uh, it is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, and keep in mind that this reading is timeless, yes? So whenever you watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you at that time, yeah? As you guys can see, the nails are back. Yay. Funny story about this. I did them yesterday, last night, actually. I was at, I, I was at a friend's house. We were having dinner with a bunch of us. Um, and I did them. And I was looking at it. And when they were done, and I was like, huh, I guess I didn't miss this as much as I thought I was going to, or as maybe as much as I <laughs> said I did. I don't know, whatever. But they're back, and I'm happy about it. So, yay. <laughs> okay. Um, I hope you guys had a great weekend or a good weekend. Um, we did have the full moon yesterday over um, overnight, obviously. Um, and today, I don't know. It might be an effect of the full moon, but today I'm feeling a little bit weird, um, a little touchy, a little more emotional. Um, yeah. And it kind of crept in last night, so it definitely, actually, it does have a lot to do with the, the full moon energies. But I hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, we are doing our uh, afternoon tea today, which is going to be uh, our weekly love check-in for all of the signs. I'm not exactly sure what time I want to do that, though. I'm thinking I might want to go do it live. It is going to be live. I'm thinking I want to do it a little bit earlier than last time. Um, today is a holiday, so I don't know how many people... I feel like a lot of... <clears throat> today, today being Columbus Day here in the United States, I feel like a lot of people are home today or not working today. Um... So I want to go, I, I, because of that, I think I want to go on live earlier, probably around noon Eastern Standard Time, um, which is only in like three hours for me because it's 9 a.m. right now. I'm getting a little bit of a late start today um, just because the, the, the vibe just feels a little bit low. Um, it's My mind is, is a little bit racy today. <laughs> racy. It's racing. I am having trouble, you know, focusing a little bit just because of the emotions. And actually, that's what's coming through with the pre-shuffle, so we'll get to that in a second. But as far as afternoon tea goes, I do think I wanna go on earlier. Maybe at noon, maybe one o'clock. Last week we did it at two. Um, but stay tuned. You guys let me know if you're, if you're off today in the comments sec section, um, if, like if, if, it, if it would be better to go live a little bit earlier or if we should keep it like around two o'clock, yeah? All right, guys, let's get into the reading for today. So the, the pre-shuffle energies are interesting. The first card that came out is the lovers. Okay, um, so right off the bat, we could be talking about a romantic partnership. We could be talking about a divine union, divine partnership. Um, or we could be talking about a choice that, a, a choice that is, mm, I just heard has been made. Okay. And that makes sense with the rest of the, the cards here i'll explain in a second um <clears throat> but the lovers does represent a choice often um it can also represent a a relationship a partnership yeah it can also represent the divine union of masculine and feminine within you but i see that more as the two of cups when it comes to the lovers to me the lovers is more about a choice and it represents the the divine union within you in the sense of when you're making this choice you're either choosing from your own heart you know, or you're choosing from out external influences. So you're either choosing from the influence of your heart internally, like your internal guidance, or you're making a choice based on external guidance. And I feel like here with the rest of what's going on in these energies, um, this is a choice that has been made from a sense of the union within yourself, okay? A sense of wholeness within. Overall energy is the seven of wands and the four of swords. All right, and it is the side of the card in which we see something burning in the background. In all honesty, when I look at this card, and in, in you know, in terms of like the energy that I'm feeling feeling through here for the collective or whomever I'm channeling for, what whomever this message is for, 
Um, this be seeing the, the 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 fire in the background to me is indicative of like the town burning down, or something like that. Um, and what I'm feeling here, especially with this seven of wands energy, okay. But then also coupled with the world that we have towards the end of this energy right here, I feel like you are someone here has made a choice to move in a certain direction that is more in alignment with them, with what they're, what I'm hearing is what their heart and their soul truly wants. Okay. And as in, <clears throat> in terms of what your soul wants, um, this is guidance that you've been given or that you've been receiving or that you've been following from your higher self in terms of your path, your, we'll call it soul mission. Yes. What your soul came here in this incarnation to understand, to learn, to um, expand through, to experience that kind of energy. Okay. So when we talk about uh, what your soul wants or your soul mission, that's what we're talking about here. What it is your soul has incarnated into this physical body um, in order to experience learn from, grow from, expand from, all that kind of stuff, okay? Um, but with the Seven of Wands energy here and with the Four of Swords, there is change that's happening in your external reality in terms of the choice that you've made internally, right? Because our external reality is a direct reflection of our internal reality, right? And I do feel like since someone here has made a decision in terms of going along with what their heart wants rather than... <laughs> This is verbatim, the channeling that I just got. Going along with what their heart wa wants rather than what society tells them to do. Okay, whomever you are. Now, all there are things that are changing in your external reality. And so you're having to keep your walls up, keep your defenses up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, hold, hold boundaries with the Seven of Wands. The beauty, though, of the Seven of Wands is this side of the card. Um, there, aren't, there aren't any, there's no more people to fight against any longer all right so it's not even like you really having to defend too much now this is just really about holding your space holding your ground um standing your ground basically okay so then the rest of the energy we have the queen of cups okay so here's the emotion that i was that i'm that i was picking up on all right so we have the queen of cups her back is turned but in this case i feel like this is a good thing we have the queen of cups you have the page of wands and on the other side of the card um you have you do see that phoenix energy rising you also have the knight of pentacles okay so what this is saying here to me is i really feel like someone is is either learning to keep their emotions under control or the other thing that I'm getting with this Queen of Cups energy is, especially with her back turned, this is give, this is giving me a little bit of a hermit mode energy. Now, um, the Queen of Cups is in uh, does represent the archetype of Cancer, right? Cancerian energy, and we all know how Cancers love to go into their shells and just like hermit up and and not want to come out. And and I understand that energy quite well. Um, and that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this Queen of Cups. However, it is serving a purpose. And that purpose has to do directly with, is falling directly in alignment with the choice that's been made here with the lovers and the defenses that are, or the, the boundaries that are being kept up. And the, um, you know, the restful energy that's coming through with the Four of Swords um, and the change in perspective or the change in surroundings, okay, that are happening for you right now. Um, with this Queen of Cups energy, you're kind of like going into hermit mode here. You're going through a process or you're wanting to stay in hermit mode because you're going through a process of self-discovery, self... Um, I'm hearing... Ah, it is self-reorganization, especially with the Three of Pentacles here, okay? Um, the Page of Wands, in my opinion, is an energy... Or uh, as a reader, is an energy of... Um, it's like a minor arcana version of the hermit energy, which is walking a path of self-discovery, right? Especially, especially with this Phoenix rising energy in this card, right? So there's a lot of change that's happening right now. Slowly but surely, you're rebuilding yourself. You're reworking your life. And the, with the world here, I'm getting two two energies okay well two definitions of what this what this feels like here first is you're closing out a cycle second is a cycle has already closed and so therefore you are 
making your way out of this. You're going, basically going through, you can see, you can see the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles energy as um, the building process to uh, um, having come out of this old cycle, right? So this is you rebuilding yourself, basically. Which is beautiful, which is a great energy, which is really, really good. Now, things might be pretty emotional. And it might, and this really may be an emotional roller coaster for you right now, which is why you're needing, why this Four of Swords energy is here. Because honestly, if things are, if things are really drastic, drastically changing in your physical surroundings, um, you really just kind of need to roll with it. Okay, that's the that's kind of the advice that I'm getting in terms of that is stop trying to make anything happen. Stop trying to make something go in a certain direction. This is literally just an energy of needing to just sit and let things happen as they're going to happen. All right. I mean, sure, you can batten down your hatches, blah, blah. Like I'm, I'm getting all kinds of like... Um, uh, extreme weather <laughs> scenarios in my head, you know, if like say there's a hurricane coming, you know, you can prepare for that. You can batten down, you can, you know, board up your windows, blah, 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 do what you need to do to protect your immediate surroundings or do what you need to do to protect the things that you know you want to take with you as you're moving forward in this new, you know, in this new cycle here with or the, this new beginning that's that's in the works right now, you know, represented by this world card here. The world card also represents whatever is coming to a close. However, that doesn't mean that you go out there and you start directing the storm saying, okay, Hurricane, I'm going to need you to, to knock this down and knock that. You know, it doesn't work that way. You literally just need to sit back and allow things, allow the chips to fall, allow the chips to land where they're going to land, and then you can pick up and start, you know, manipulating or specifically doing certain things, but... <laughs> now is not that time. Batten down the hatches and just let things go flow as they're going to. And you work on you. You want work on, you know, keeping your emotions in check. If there are some things that are surfacing right now, go through that, especially with the full moon, you know, that we just came out of. Um, and of course, if you're watching this reading later on after the 14th of October and this is resonating with you, then maybe the full moon has something to do with it, but also depending on how long it is after your, that, the, the, the publishing of this and you're watching and it's resonating, it may have nothing to do with whatever. But I don't know, maybe there's another moon cycle that, whatever, it, take it as it resonates, <laughs> all right? So, okay, so, but so far this is a good energy. It feels, it may feel a little tumultuous, a little rocky, you know, um, but it's nothing you can't handle. And to be quite honest, if emotions are high right now, I feel like for the most part, you're really doing well with um, not letting them overwhelm you. Um, and that's mainly because you have this experience, you know, this is really what we've been cultivating over the last few months, this ability to really, uh, to really keep uh, our emotions in check and not allow them to overtake us, overwhelm us, run amok, blah, blah, blah. And it doesn't mean it's you're not going to have days where you're kind of like, this is pretty fucking shitty. But at the same time, you, you're you well aware of how to keep things under control. Or at least you're better equipped to do so. And this is only helping you get better at that. Okay? All right. Cool. So with that said, let's get another shuffle in and we'll see what else we got for the day. All right, here we go, kids. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, October 14th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. 
Ooh, okay, they're saying five shuffles. So five shuffles today for the collective for our Monday, October 14th, 2019. Two, three, four, for our Monday for the collective. And five. Interesting. I brought the Crystal Mandala Oracle deck out because I was thinking I wanted to use that today, but I just got a flash of the dragons. So, all right. We'll see what happens, but let's see. All right. Eyes are closed. Shuffling. Let's see what we get. So, October 14th, 2019. Best messages, please, Spirit. What would you like to discuss with us today? What is on the agenda for today, please? Spirit, October 14th, 2019, we have something, there's more, all right, so October 14th, 2019, what do we have so far, oh, we have the sun, that's so interesting, whoa, 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 you guys, that's so interesting, I'm gonna leave it right here. Wow. I'll tell you why that's so interesting. Um, you have overall energy. The Three of Pentacles is back. Holy shit. And so is the Knight of... I'm not sorry. The Page of Wands. Wow. Wow. Okay, it's different sides of the card on each, side, on each one. That's okay. Um... Okay, so in terms of, um, I'm, I'm looking here at the Three of Pentacles and the Page of Wands, and I'm just, I'm, I'm working on understanding why it's the different side of the card, even though the cards have come back out. And what I'm getting here is still the Page of, I'm sorry, did I, I keep saying the Knight of Wands, the Page of Wands. Um... is here representing some sort of self-discovery okay this is a and this is the side of the card that to me speaks to analysis right um figuring something out reworking something sizing something up normally this deck looks uh this card is depicted with a younger figure like this guy here who's like looking at that wand that's like uh, inspecting their power learning something new blah 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 something like that right and then you have the three of pentacles here and this side is the side of the card where it shows them actually building whereas the other side of the card it shows you know the merchant or the businessman that's like ready to start building here you sh it shows you the actual work of building something right and so to me this is speaking to um, the Three of Pentacles is aiding this uh, this energy with the Page of Wands here of sizing something up, figuring something out, embarking on a new journey, that sort of thing, okay? And then we have the Sun with Judgment. And I was saying, when I saw that come out, I was like, whoa, that's really crazy because when I started... Um, the pre-shuffle, like before I started recording... I had I'd started shuffling and the sun had kind of like half fallen out, but it was this side of the card. And underneath that judgment, whoop, judgment was coming out. And I was like, huh, that's interesting. Um, I thought it was a more of a personal message. Um, but then, you know, they didn't really actually fall out. They just kind of like landed in a weird place position so I didn't really take them I put them back in and that's when I got the rest of the reading but now here we go they're back okay however the Sun came out when it came out the first time it was this side of the card now it's this side of the card but it's okay we're t it, it, it yes there is a bit of confinement um, you might feel like you're closed off the walls in this card can represent the seven of wands energy that came out earlier in the pre shuffle um, defense mechanisms, but this is while you are building, you are reshaping your life. You're answering this call with judgment. Okay. Um, it's like, you've heard the wake of call. You've, 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 you've woken up 
and now you're standing in this new sense of purity here with all these individuals that are naked that is representing purity of essence right um, without any sort of conditioning without sort of any sort of external identity or like um, whatnot uh, or labeling or whatnot this is just purely you okay the source within you the source energy within you the the, the, the pureness of your being right um it, it's you're standing in this energy yes you're having you're needing to be protected or guarded a little bit you're needing to have boundaries and for many of you this feels like new boundaries that you've just learned to put in place um greater boundaries that are definitely more beneficial for you right and from this energy this judgment energy here this freshly a uh, uh, freshly woke <laughs> energy we'll call it you're rebuilding with the three of pentacles the three of pentacles is also an energy of self-mastery so that's where we're getting this sense of building on oneself right that is very interesting that's really really cool though the fact that these two came back out is really cool You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting this confinement is necessary. If you're feeling some sort of confinement, it's necessary. But to be quite honest, this doesn't feel like you're all that upset about it. You may even be acknowledging clearly and, and um, appreciating some sort of con, uh, con, uh, confinement, walls, boundaries. And it, and it mainly feels like um, protection or a wall against the outside world um, the sleepwalkers I guess you can call it especially if you're finding yourself in this energy of being like awakened to certain elements of you know conscious three-dimensional reality that no longer resonate with you it's almost as if you're you're feeling relieved in being cordoned off from this kind of stuff you know what I mean so especially that's why, you know, the sun is the sun is the most optimistic, the best card in the deck. So and then this side of the card says, you know, even if you're feeling confined, don't worry, it's not a bad thing. It's actually probably a good thing and probably is for your, you know, for the best. And that can cause that can lead to some sort of depression or like, you know, disappointment or whatnot. But it doesn't feel like that right now. It feels like you're you're happily cordoned off. You're like, you know what? I'm good right here <laughs> so for some of you you may be doing it purposefully like i was picking up on that hermit energy in the queen of cups so okay you could be doing that intentionally but for others of you it may not necessarily be intentional it's just how you know the energies are working for you right now and it doesn't feel like you're all that upset about it if that's upset about it at all so hey that's great all right so with that said let's um start clarifying here i want to get a little bit more clarity on these energies for you right now and then we're going to get spirits take and then we're going to close out the reading and i'm having an internal battle again about this oracle re deck or the oracle deck i'm going to use for the oracle guidance because i got a flash of the dragons but now i'm hearing the crystal mandala in my head i'm not sure we'll see See, we'll see what happens. Oh, hello, sun. Look at all that sunlight. It's going to go away in a few minutes, though. See, there it goes. It's fading already. It's pretty cloudy here today. Anyway, let's get... Let's get a clearer, a deeper understanding of what these energies are for you right now. The sun... And judge ooh, and judgment. One last shuffle. All right. Let's see what this is for you. The sun and judgment. You know, this is almost like an energy of the Knight of Pentacles. This is almost an energy of um, like when you have a newborn, and they're in the uh, the NICU, and you know they're they're being guarded from the outside world because they're literally a newborn that's kind of the energy that i'm getting here with this with judgment and the sun it's like you're a newborn that's pretty cool you have the knight of pentacles with okay the knight of pentacles with temperance all 
I don't know, I don't remember where I was, so I'm gonna keep shuffling here. All right, the Knight of Pentacles with Temperance. This is a good thing. This is a very good thing. Um, slowly but surely, building. You have the Knight of Pentacles again, because the Knight of Pentacles came out in the pre-shuffle. Um, temperance, there's rebalancing. Okay, so whatever is happening for you right now, you're needing to have patience. It's interesting that that message is coming through mainly because it doesn't feel like there's really much impatience going on here. You might be feeling excited and wanting to really move forward with this new direction or this new whatever is coming through for you. And maybe that's why I kept saying the Knight of Wands when I was talking about the Page of Wands in the pre-shuffle, because maybe there are some hasty energies that you're feeling. However, there, seem, there feels a, like a sense of peace here. So maybe it's just that you're excited to get going, like to really get the ball rolling or get moving in this new direction, this new reality, this new life that, you know, I don't know, that you're building for yourself here. But this energy feels very diligent. Like I really feel, especially with this Knight of Pentacles energy, I really feel like you're very, you're very much making a conscious effort, a diligent effort to build things piece by piece, slowly but surely, um, and to do things well, to do things correctly. I really feel like in this new level of wokeness <laughs> that you're experiencing here, you have learned a lot of really strong lessons from the past and you now recognize and appreciate um, going things slow, going by things slowly but surely, step by step, really not rushing it, taking it at a slower pace. There is a lot of hastiness, I really do feel like that has been released, that has been shed, okay? Even though, yes, I kept, I am feeling an energy of, you know, wanting to, enthusiasm, that's what it is, it's enthusiasm. It's more enthusiasm than it is haste. Even though you may, in the deep down, you may be like, oh, I just want to get going. I'm so excited. There is a level of maturity here that I'm really picking up on for whomever this is for. That's like, yes, I want to get, I'm really excited to get going, but I also know that I'm, I can take my time. Like, I don't have to rush this. That also could come from a deeper sense of security spiritually in terms of where in the past you may have been really hasty and you were like, I, 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 but you were hasty from an egoic point of view because you wanted to do it, you wanted to get it done, you didn't want to miss out on an opportunity, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. But now there is a sense of relaxed energy. And it's definitely, Spirit is, is showing this to me, it's definitely coming from the Four of Swords energy that came out in the pre-shuffle, right? Um, there's a sense of maturity here that's allowing you to say, look, it doesn't have to happen. First of all, especially with the Knight of Pentacles and Temperance energy here, you're well aware that it's not going to happen overnight. All right? It's not going to happen overnight, overnight, nor should it, nor does it need to. Okay, there's a deeper sense of patience and calm here, and that is that is an excellent place to come to. Okay, so let's get a little bit more here. But there's definitely a balancing, um, a reorganizing energy. You have the Six of Swords with the Ten of Cups. Holy shit, guys. Overall energy is the Seven of Pentacles. I told you. There it is right there, learning from the contrast. Um, this is the exact energy I was just picking up on that is allowing you to take this slowly but surely, one step at a time, not really being hasty. Why? Because you learned in the past. You learned from experiences from the past. And now, ooh, what was that? Something just, oh no, the ball from my lip ring. <laughs> oh no, hold on a second, guys, I gotta find that. Oh no, um, the ball from my lip ring just fell out. Anyway, what I was saying was, don't mind me, I'm gonna look for this while, while I talk to you about this, but, um, so what I was picking up on in terms of, um, you know, having learned and not being too hasty anymore. Oh no, where did this thing go? Oh goodness, you guys. Um, there's, 
learn from the contrast, okay? You learn from the experiences from the past of being super hasty, you know, seven of pentacles. You're not going to do that again. So we're going to, we're going to continue moving forward and we're going to work on our harvest, but we're going to go about it, go about it in a different way. You know, it's like, it's like changing. It's almost like the definition of insanity and trying to do things a certain way over and over again the same way expecting to get a different result it's like no i'm not doing that anymore i'm just gonna do something i'm gonna i'm gonna sink into it i'm gonna have fun right and i'm not gonna worry about it i'm not gonna expect it to happen in a certain time i'm not gonna expect it to happen a certain way i'm not gonna expect it to happen too quickly oh my god i really just lost this how did i just lose this <sighs> All right, well, hopefully, hopefully the rest of, well, it shouldn't fall out. But anyway, I got to find that. I got to find that later, you guys. But anyway, so what is happening here is you're moving from rough waters to calmer waters, six of swords, and you're moving towards your ten of cups, your ultimate wish fulfillment. And that's definitely the choice that has, in fact, been made in terms of the lover's card that came out in the beginning of the reading in the pre-shuffle. Yeah. That's a beautiful, that is beautiful energy, you guys. Okay. So with the, all of that said, I want to get Spirit's take on this now. Advice Spirit may have, and then we'll close out the reading with our Oracle Guidance. I don't even know how that fell out. Anyway, <laughs> I'll find it eventually. All right. Let's get Spirit's take on this and um, advice Spirit may have in terms of this. However, I, what I want to say is Spirit's already saying it. Whomever this is for, you're doing quite well with these energies. Like you're really doing very, very well with this. So one last shuffle. All right. So Spirit, what's your take on this then? And any advice that you may have moving forward. What do we have here? The Ace of Swords. The whole deck is upside down. Okay. The Ace of Swords. And underneath the deck is the Four of Pentacles. Overall energy. And to me, what that is saying is... Um, you have the knowledge, the knowledge is clear. You have, uh, uh, in terms of what you need to cut out, what is being cut out, or also there's and it's also an energy of standing your ground. So what I'm getting here, what Spirit is saying with the Ace of Swords and the Four of Pentacles at the root of the situation, the Four of Pentacles is, um, is talking about standing, uh, specifically, Standing firm in what it is that you know, who it is that you've become, and what it, the, the insight that you've gathered. All of the, don't forget all of the experiences and what you've learned recently that's helped get you to this point. That's helped get you to this solid foundation that you're in, Four of Pentacles, that's allowing you to make this shift at all. Be very clear on that. Also, there's an energy of being very clear of what is going into your foundation because you are here at this point right now with the Three of Pentacles, you're building, okay? This is the, the, the process of building this foundation for yourself. So be very consciously aware of what you're putting into your foundation at this time. Yeah, Spirit's saying we're kind of like reiterating a message. We're, it's, we're kind of, this is, this is a little bit redundant, Spirit is saying, because consciously on the conscious level you already are aware of this you're already putting this into practice that's why you're in this situation to begin with however we're just wanting to remind you to keep sturdy keep safe keep strong is what i'm hearing on what you're putting into this new foundation stay consciously aware of how you are building this foundation work towards seeing everything as clearly as possible Seeing everything for what it truly is. Oh, I get it. Okay, so what they're also saying in terms of be conscious of what you're putting into this, into your foundation, work your hardest. Like, take, do your best to see things as clearly as possible. See things for what they truly are. 
All right, take things at face value. Wait, take things at face. Yes, that's what they. That's what we said. Okay. Ah, take things at face value. But what they're what they mean by that is no more of this bait and switch bullshit, right? No more of looking at something and being sold this pipe dream only to find out that it's not what you thought it was. Like, your intuition is strong enough now for you to know exactly when someone is trying to, is putting the hard sell on you or is, is, is faking or is, is bullshitting you or is, is you know, bait, bait, baiting and switching or at least trying to or, you know, is trying to upsell you on something that you don't really need or, like, you have the wisdom and the clarity to see that for what it truly is now. So use that to your advantage, okay? As we move forward, as we move from this three to the four. Now, yes, some of you are sitting there saying that the four of pentacles is kind of like a, a hoarder energy, a miserly card. Yes, it can be, but that's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about here is building your foundation and making sure that you are very clear, like crystal clear on what it is you're putting into this foundation, okay? Stay as consciously aware of that as you possibly can. I can't decide which oracle guidance I want to go with. And I'm sitting here saying I, uh, to myself, I'm saying, God, I wish I, wish I could like, ask you guys. Maybe I want to start doing this live. That would be interesting. Sorry, that was a really loud gulp. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Crystal Mandala. Okay. We're going to do that. And yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I really like working with the Dragon Oracle deck, but let's, let's give the Crystal Mandala deck a, a round, a, a go at it. I might start doing these live. I don't know. You guys let me know what you would think about that. All right, but let's get your Oracle guidance here for today. One last shuffle. Okay, here we go, kids. Oracle guidance for your Monday, October 14th, 2019. Monday, 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 October 5th, 14th, 2019. Oracle guidance here, please, spirit. All right, yeah, card number 39. Goddess Sekhmet and Fire Agate, Passion of the Lion Heart. And this is that enthusiasm that I was picking up on. Ooh. Oh. Anyway. Okay. So this says, We bring you the empowerment of Passion of the Lion Heart. Through passion, you will dedicate yourself with an intensity and discipline that may surprise you. Passion is love activated. It is energy that moves you from within and empowers you to act in the world in ways you would not otherwise dare to even consider. Passion gives you strength, plugs you into the eternal energy of sacred fire, and generates the ability to accomplish tasks you once may not have believed possible. With great passion, there can be great pain. The heart that loves wild and open is also the heart that can feel disappointment and doubt most keenly. The empowerment of the lion heart strengthens your heart to recover from any pain through the power of courage, commitment, and bold, loving devotion to what matters most to you. Absolutely. I totally agree with that. And that's absolutely, it feels like that's the energy that's even driving this whole change that you're making. So good on ya, yeah? All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again or our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. But also, I look forward to seeing you this afternoon for afternoon tea. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye. Oh, actually, before I, before I go, please 
let me know in the description box, or not in the description, in the, you know what, it's not even worth it, because it's, I was going to ask that you guys just let, let, let me know what would be best if I should go on a little earlier or, or not, but it's, yeah, go ahead and let me know, but honestly, after, after a while, it's, it's going to be obsolete. <laughs> I'm rambling. Okay, I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.